Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll study guidelines related to female genital system. The code range is 56405 to 58999. In the previous video, I have explained guidelines related to urinary system and male genital system. You can check the video in the playlist CPC exam genital urinary system series. The link will be mentioned in the description. Let's start. The course for surgical treatment of female genital system can be found in the range 56405 to 58999. This section contains gynecologic procedures as well as codes for maternity care, delivery and abortion treatment. In this section, you can find the codes for vulva, perineum, incision, destruction, excision, repair, endoscopy. Next is vagina. Incision, destruction, excision, introduction, repair, manipulation. Next, cervix, uteri, endoscopy, excision, repair, manipulation. Next is corpus, uteri, excision. Below that, we have hysterectomy procedures, introduction, repair, laparoscopy, hysteroscopy, and other procedures. Then there are codes for oviduct, ovary, in vitro fertilization, maternity care and delivery. Antipartum and fetal invasive services, excision, introduction, repair, vaginal delivery, antipartum and postpartum care, caesarean delivery codes, delivery after previous caesarean delivery, abortion and other procedures. Let us look at the anatomy of the female genital system. This diagram is present in your ICD manual in the section Anatomical Illustrations. The internal organs for female genital system include vagina, uterus, two fallopian tube and two ovaries. There is also corpus luteum, oocyte, graphian follicle. There is a presence of uterine body cavity. You can see endometrium, myometrium and perimetrium. The central organ of the female reproductive system is the uterus. The cervix of uteri or neck of the uterus is the lower portion of the uterus that tapers to connect to the vagina. The opening in the cervix is known as the OS or external OS. The vagina is a tubular muscular canal. The anterior vagina surrounds part of the cervix. Cervix is the lowest part of the uterus. Next there is ovaries. Ovaries are small oval shaped glands that are located on either side of the uterus. Ovaries produce eggs and hormones. Next, there is fallopian tubes. The fallopian tubes are narrow tubes that are attached to the upper part of the uterus. The fallopian tubes serve as pathways for egg to travel from ovaries to the uterus. The fertilization of an egg by sperm normally occurs in the fallopian tube. Let us study the guidelines related to female genital system. In your CPT manual, page number 439, they have mentioned definitions. The following definitions apply to the vulvectomy codes. So, here they have mentioned a simple procedure is the removal of skin and superficial subcutaneous tissue. Radical procedure is removal of skin and deep subcutaneous tissue. Partial procedure is removal of less than 80% of the vulvar area. Complete procedure is removal of greater than 80% of the vulvar area. Please highlight these definitions. It is very important. 56620 is the code for vulvectomy, simple, partial. 56625 is for complete. 56630 is for vulvectomy, radical, partial. Then we have the codes with unilateral inguinofemoral lymphadenectomy. 56632 with bilateral inguinofemoral lymphadenectomy. 56633 for vulvectomy, radical, complete. Then 56640 for vulvectomy radical complete with inguino, femoral, iliac and pelvic lymphadenectomy. So these are the important codes. Next important codes are for cervix uteri endoscopy. 57452 for colposcopy of the cervix including upper adjacent vagina. 57454 with biopsy of the cervix and endocervical curettage. So this code is for Biopsy with endocervical curettage. Next code 57455 is for with biopsy of the cervix. 57456 is for with endocervical curettage only. 57460 is for with loop electrode biopsy of the cervix. And 57461 
for with loop electrode conization of the cervix next important course are for excision biopsy of cervix single or multiple or local excision of lesion with or without fulguration this is a separate procedure 57505 is for endocervical curettage not done as a part of dilation and curettage highlight this next important code is corpus uteri excision that is 58120 for dilation and curettage diagnostic or therapeutic non obstetrical highlight the term non obstetrical next important subsection is hysterectomy procedures the code 58150 is for total abdominal hysterectomy with or without removal of tube with or without removal of ovary the code 5210 is for radical abdominal hysterectomy with bilateral total pelvic lymphadenectomy and para aortic lymph node sampling with or without removal of tube with or without removal of ovaries to code this correctly we have to know what is total hysterectomy subtotal hysterectomy and radical hysterectomy A total hysterectomy is a surgical procedure that removes the uterus and cervix but leaves the ovaries and fallopian tubes intact. Next is subtotal hysterectomy. Subtotal hysterectomy is a surgical procedure that removes the main body of the uterus or womb by leaving the cervix or neck of the womb in place. Next is radical hysterectomy. Radical hysterectomy refers to removing uterus, cervix, part of the vagina and ligaments and tissues around the uterus. Take a note of this. Next important guideline is maternity care and delivery. The codes in maternity care and delivery section are used to describe services related to antepartum delivery and postpartum care. In this paragraph they have mentioned antepartum care includes initial prenatal history and physical examination subsequent prenatal history and physical examination recording of weight blood pressure fetal heart tones routine chemical urine analysis monthly visits up to 28 weeks gestation biweekly visits to 36 weeks gestation and weekly visits until delivery any other visits or services within this period should be coded separately Also they have mentioned what does delivery services include just go through that there are codes related to antepartum and fetal invasive services 5900 is for amniocentesis diagnostic 5901 is for therapeutic amniotic fluid reduction just go through the codes next important section is vaginal delivery antepartum and postpartum care so the code 59400 is for routine obstetric care including antepartum care vaginal delivery and postpartum care so this code is for routine obstetric care including antepartum care vaginal delivery and postpartum care 59409 is for vaginal delivery only highlight that 59410 is for vaginal delivery including postpartum care and the code 59412 is for external cephalic version with or without toco lysis an important guideline is that if twins are delivered vaginally 59400 should be coded along with 59409 with modifier 51 for an additional vaginal delivery only next codes are for vaginal delivery delivery of placenta 59414 59425 antepartum care only 4 to 6 visits 59426 7 or more visits 59430 postpartum care only next important codes are for cesarean delivery in this 59510 is for routine obstetric care including antepartum care cesarean delivery and postpartum care highlight this 59514 is for cesarean delivery only and 59515 is for cesarean delivery including postpartum care you have to code this based on the terms mentioned in the operative report or in the cpc exam question whether they have mentioned cesarean delivery only or whether there is postpartum care included or if there is routine obstetric care including antepartum care so you have to code accordingly the add on code 59525 is for subtotal or total hysterectomy after cesarean delivery so you have to use 59525 in conjunction with all these codes
Next is delivery after previous cesarean delivery. This is very important. Patients who have had a previous cesarean delivery and now present with the expectation of a vaginal delivery are coded using the codes 59610259622. So, if the patient has had a previous cesarean delivery and now present with the expectation of a vaginal delivery, then we have to code from the range 59610259622. And if the patient has a successful vaginal delivery after a previous cesarean delivery, BBAC, use codes 59610259614. If the attempt is unsuccessful and another cesarean delivery is carried out, use codes 59618259622. To report elective cesarean deliveries, use the code 59510595149515. So, in this paragraph, we studied three important things that is, patients who have had previous cesarean delivery and now present with expectation of vaginal delivery, we have to use codes from this range. And if the patient has a successful vaginal delivery after previous cesarean delivery, VBSC, use codes 59610259614. Next, if the attempt is unsuccessful and another cesarean delivery is carried out, we have to use the codes from 59618259622. Remember that. Next important guideline is for abortion. Abortion codes are chosen based on the type of abortion involved, whether it is spontaneous, induced, or missed. It is important to note that if a patient has spontaneous abortion, example miscarriage, but does not require a surgical completion. Then, management of this is coded using evaluation and management codes. For surgical treatment of spontaneous abortion, use the code 59812. 59812 is for treatment of incomplete abortion, any trimester completed surgically. 59820 is for treatment of missed abortion, completed surgically, first trimester. 59821 is for second trimester. Then 59830 is for treatment of septic abortion completed surgically. 59840 is for induced abortion by dilation and curettage. Highlight the important terms. Then 59841 is for induced abortion by dilation and evacuation. 59850 is for induced abortion by one or more intraamniotic injections. 59851 is for induced abortion by one or more intraamniotic injections with dilation and curettage or evacuation. 59855 is for induced abortion by one or more vaginal suppositories with or without cervical dilation including hospital admission and visits. So, to sum up, in abortion, if spontaneous abortion is not requiring surgical treatment, then we have to code the appropriate evaluation and management codes. In today's video, we studied guidelines related to female genital system. In the next video, we will solve CPC exam practice questions related to genitourinary system. So, stay tuned. 